Hi, I'm Brett Bada. I'm a member of the SPAD class of 2015, and this is Inside the Internet. One of the themes of the program is combining theory and practice. And so in the first year you, you take classes, you learn the theory, you, you go through that process. In the second year you are put into practice. You, you apply the things that you think may not have been applicable at the time, but you, you use them and you look back and you're like, oh wow, I remember when we learned that and now I'm using it in the real world. Yeah, the best part of working in an internship in the athletic department here at Carolina is just you feel a part of the athletic department. You feel like you're a full-time staff member. You're, you're not necessarily an intern. Sure, there's there's duties that you do that um, an intern would do, but you, you do feel like you're a full-time staff member and you're treated that way, which is uh, an experience that's second to none and, and you don't get really anywhere else. There's a number of different things you learn in the internship process that you don't learn in the classroom. Currently I work in, here in the Smith Center in operations and uh, on game days things come up that you could never expect to come up and you would never learn in the classroom no matter how much you study, no matter how much you read. The internship start dates depend on what internship you're in. Some will start almost immediately in May as soon as classes uh, finish up. Other ones will have to be more flexible if you want to do an outside internship or maybe go home and get a little time off. But it just depends on the internship. Moving on to the second year, you work full time. That's, that's your job. That's what you do in that internship. And then about this time in, in February, March, where I am now, you start looking for jobs. treat them like a staff member. Uh, I think it's a great experience for them and I think it's a win-win situation for both departments in a sense of uh, obviously we get, if you will, another staff member uh, for the course of uh, the second year of the grad student's tenure here and there's probably, well, I should say just one staff member, we end up getting nine in the various areas and so forth. But, so I think it's uh, a great situation as far as uh, helping the athletic department and also it's a great uh, drawing card if you will, very appealing I think to the applicants to our sports administration program. You really have to, to learn time management skills and know when to when to commit yourself fully to your internship and when to step back a little bit and be able to work on your thesis at nights or weekends or whenever it may be. Supervisors are great though, they, they understand that we're still students, they understand that we have to get this thesis done, and they, they are very willing to work with us to, to create time to get this project done while working as an intern. You come away with not only a master's degree when you finish this program, but you have a full year of experience working in a Division I athletic department. You can't match that experience. It prepares you for the job world and that's a huge resume for you. I'm Brett Bada and this has been Inside the Internship.